morning. Scott Reed Project is down by the sea. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. This morning, we're in glorious Saundersfoot. Fantastic high tide. Last night was a full moon, and this is a real high tide. It's about 9.2 meters. And what we're here for is a bit later on in the day, you can see that point there, that's Monkston Point. And in this bay round here, we're gonna go foraging. My favorite kind of foraging, free food, we're going to look for some razor clams, some clams, but most of all, I'm going to look for some winkles. So we've got to wait for this puppy to empty out a bit. In the meantime, I'm going to sit and enjoy this view. So the tide's gone out, and I was after some winkles. But what there is here today is tons and tons of these beautiful cockles. Now I'm going to get me some buckets of these. It couldn't be easier. Scrape into the sand. Just under the sand, like that. I mean, some of them are lying on top of the sand. Just take a few minutes. This is what we call free food. And there is absolutely hundreds of them. And everybody's at this. It's like a major harvest. And it couldn't be easier. You don't need no tools, just your hands. And there they are. Beautiful. So as you can see from that picture, this fantastic haul of cockles, here they are. Proper Welsh cockles, bigger than the European ones. They're super meaty. We're gonna cook them now, a creamy tagliatelle. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get the tagliatelle on, that takes the longest, so I've got some water on there, I'm bringing it up to the boil. And as you can see, I've already opened three quarters of these. I'll show you how to do that because I'm going to use these on the shell for garnish. And the way I cook these is exactly the same way I cook these open ones to get them out. First of all then, I'm going to get my tagliatelle on because this all comes together real quick. This takes seven to eight minutes, so plenty of water. One litre per 100 grams of pasta and 10 grams of salt per 100 grams of pasta. So we get that going. The next thing, I'm going to start opening these few cockles to show you how it's done. This will be the presentation. We're going to use the juices to make the sauce. So what we do then, pan on. So a knob of butter into the pan, just a little drizzle of oil. I'm going to add a little splash of wine and this is the same principle for opening up all the cockles or your mussels or clams. So we just let that come to the boil, it won't take very long. Pasta's going good guns. My butter, oil and wine. I will add one small onion, one chopped garlic, let that warm up. Then this will be the base for our sauce then. We'll use the cooking juices from the cockles. That comes up to heat. What you do, put your cockles in. Lid on. Two minutes. When they've opened, we're ready to finish off the dish. Just show you inside that pan. The rule with any shellfish, any that are open to start with, you don't use, and any that don't open when you cook, you also don't use. So I'm going to give them another minute, they're all opening, and these are going to be garnish on the plate. As you can see that one there, it hasn't opened, take that one out, all the others. And you can just see inside that shell how meaty they are, they fill the whole shell, fantastic. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take those out, because they're for garnish, and I'm going to strain the cooking juices, and the onion, and the garlic, and the wine. I'm going to add some cream to it, Maybe another little tiddler, didn't open. So into a clean pan, just drain that off, through a fine sieve, just picked up all those flavours. 
going to add 50 ml of cream. So into my cream then I should put a handful of the open cockles, try a few. Amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. A handful of parsley. So to pickle these cockles then, the ones I cooked that I had left, I've just put them in an old jar with half malt vinegar, half water and some pepper. And as you can see, fantastic. My tagliatelle is done. Transfer that over there. Get that in there. Give that. Look at that. Fantastic. So we've added our tagliatelle then to the cream and the cockles. Get it on a plate. Just add another pinch of parsley. And a few of those half shells for decoration. And there you have my foraged Welsh cockles with tagliatelle. I suppose I better give this a go then. That lovely creamy tagliatelle. If I can get it on my fork with that parsley and those fresh Welsh cockles. Mm. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.